M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. Take a look here at the new Bofeng DM1701. VHF, UHF, DMR, backlit buttons. It's a lovely solid set. It has a proper volume control, channel change knob. And on the right hand side, you can see the older DM1701. The new one is the 1701A. And if you look at the top of it, it's got these like wings either side. It's a squarer design. And yes, I've got my hotspot out here on the left. Really recommend you getting a hotspot if you are, if you have a DMR radio, get yourself a hotspot. It just opens up the whole world to you. It's like having your own repeater at home. The new design is, is very much like the Alance. If you look there, the HD1 is square, a sort of radio. Both fantastic devices, but I prefer the DM1701 models because they will allow you to install the Open GD77 firmware. So if we just turn it on, you'll see what this looks like. Now it's full color, although the model comes, the default settings are black and white, but you can see there. And now you've even got a signal meter at the top there, and you can see it's showing in, in VFO mode there. It's showing two meters at the moment. You've got buttons on the side, PTT, another button at the top there, sort of function customizable button. And we're just going to tinker around with that. Also, up and down buttons on the keypad. The green button is like a menu button, the red button is basically like a back button and so this you know you've got your usual Kenwood twin pins now it, it won't allow you with it to program it with a normal Bofen cable you need the special one for the 1701 and if we just quickly go into the different menu settings there we're just going to press the uh, the green button just here press it there and then we'll go to keep going up and down until we get to options. Select that. And then you're looking for theme. When you go to theme, this is how we're going to change the color. It's a bit fiddly, um, but once you go into it, now there is display options that you can see there and you can change the brightness. You can even invert the screen. Let me just find that. And, and you know, that looks excellent as well. Just inverting the screen. But look at all the other settings. You've got battery percentage there, auto off contacts, mo mode, auto, UTC. But anyway, if we look for the you've got LEDs off there as well screen normal turn the middle button and it now you've inverted the screen if we go back with the red button look how good this looks oh let's just do that again you have to you have to confirm it with the green button so we'll go back in and quickly confirm that and look how good that looks go back into options theme options select day theme and then go down to background and you can change look at all the things you can change it's not just the background going up and down there just looking and I will do more detailed videos on this I, I have with the other 1701 options theme day theme background color then turn the let me think now you do this back up and down there you are you sort of mix the colors we're just going to turn the green right up just like that, turning the middle knob. And remember to accept it. You have to accept it. Oh, if you do what I just did, it won't. You have to accept it with the green button. And there we are, looking good. Got the green option there. I'll just type in Hubnet 434550. Then I'll go to my Hubnet panel. I'll just show you my Hubnet panel, which comes with the G7 RPG node. It looks like that. Hopefully you saw that. I, I am voicing over the video that I made earlier, but that's your control panel, G7 RPG, if you want in an all-star node. Just click Hubnet and you're away. And then the other thing you can do is, with your hotspot, mine is 431550, select the, the same frequency as your hotspot, 
select your color code slot, put in your DMR number, go menu, channel details, up and down, select DMR ID. Now just type, start to type your DMR number, look 2341437. Hit the green button and then we can back out. Actually, while we're there, we'll change the color code to one time slot to two. Hit select, we're on talk group nine, so it should hear my hotspot. And then it will, because these radios, they do come preloaded with OpenGD77, which does hold all of the contacts. And this is a preloaded radio, so it will have them on there. Look, there it goes there. You, you can't hear it, but all the information is starting to come on screen. There's my hotspot and all the details are on my hotspot as well. As you can see, just bringing it forward there. And you can actually change the orientation of the hotspot. So it, it doesn't need to sit like that with a lead underneath. I think I'll just, there's my actual dashboard. Let me just find out there it is there. Dashboard, that's what your PyStar dashboard looks like. And then going forward, yeah, you can click on people's information and it will show their QRZ. So you can see it's, it is showing all the information on screen. And that's me just changing the orientation. Because when it's, if I turn it upside down, put the lead above, then go back into the Pi Star settings. And uh, go into, you'll see in a sec, into configuration. This hotspot is like £44. I put it in the description. Configuration, and then you go down until it even does M17. But anyway, you go down, well, the radio doesn't, but the software does. OLED, turn the rotate to number one, change the zero to a one, apply the changes, and then look, it, it puts it the right way around. And you can have now, you can have the power cable on top, so it just sits on the desk. Put a couple of rubber feet on that and you're good to go and there's all the dashboard go back to configuration i'll just show you how i did that configuration then uh, we can click expert mmdvm host scroll down until you see the word oled and that's how we we turned it round flipped it you know flipped the screen let's say i mean it looks fantastic in green doesn't it radio info we need to, if we want satellite mode working, we need to enter our coordinates. So just into Google, just put in my longitude latitude and you'll get your coordinates and then just type it in. Um, and then what will happen is once you've got that in, it will allow you to then go into satellite mode. And um, you don't need to have GPS to use the satellite mode with the OpenGD77 firmware, which does work, I believe, with the MD380 dual band, 390 as well. The TYT base station, 9600. Um, there was, I think, a radio called GD77. It works with that as well. Uh, check it out, opengd77.com. Uh, it transforms the radio, and the biggest thing is that it allows you to manual dial and import uh, all of the worldwide contacts and also the CPS that comes with that radio is really good. And I've, again, I've made so many videos on that as well. There's a satellite, hit satellite, and it says empty because it hasn't got the coordinates. But we're going to get them in there. Um, actually, I know what we've got to load the caps. So we'll quickly go over to my software. I'll just do the screen, a screenshot of it for now because I, um, I'm going to make videos uh, where I'll, I'll you know, let you view the actual screen. So there's the software there. Uh, we read the code plug. You do need that special cable, which is about eight pound for the 1701. Then you go to, once it's read it, you go to the top as, as Mazzy barking, extras for, no, OpenGD77 support across to where it says install caps. And as soon as we do this, you wait and see, it will actually show all the satellites that are queuing up as they're going to fly over my head. And we just select the one we want to look at. You just move that forward. And there it is there. Look at this. Close. And you can scroll through, go up and down with the arrows. Just zoom in a bit. Look at that. How cool is that? Not many radios do this. I know any tone have adopted it. You've got your elevation. 
pass. Frequency, receive and transmit with the Doppler shift that adjusts live. This is so cool. This radio will actually talk to you as well if you upload the, the talk. So, okay, sorry I had to do the voiceover on this particular video. The original didn't work, but that's fine because I'm just going to make a whole new video anyway. But I thought you'd like to see uh, this one. Please hit the like, subscribe, catch you on air 7-3. All the